Someone is asking the most important question I think we as individuals could ask. Who am I? I'm sure there's more than one answer to this because we are so much. We are not just one thing like we are here in the third dimension. However, first and foremost, we really need to understand that we are God. Or this energy we call the source. You might not want to call it God because organized religion has given God a bad reputation. So a lot of people don't like using that word. So you can call it the source if you like. Um, we are the source. Each and every one of us is a different part of the same source. I don't need to tell you this, it's written in about 10,000 books. Now, who am I? I think the answer does not matter or is not as important as the question is. Whenever you're having a quiet moment, ask out of curiosity. I wonder who I am. Who am I really? Questions like that. Because this gives your soul the okay to show you more and more and more of you. It will be a process. You will not see it in one day. The biggest reason is, if you do see who you are in one day, your body would simply explode. It cannot take this much information. Information is what we really are. So, don't ask to see who you are all at once. And don't look for logical answers to a question like this. Because we are so big, because we are so much, because we exist in so many different realities, dimensions, frequencies, there's no way we could get a logical answer that says, this is who you are. Many times in a session, you might get who you were before you came to Earth. Or at least you will see the part of you that decided to come to Earth. But that's not all of who you are. And even though that is nice to know where you come from or where you were before you came to Earth, where we were before we came to Earth, uh, it's not everything. We are more. Always keep in mind, we are more. And I personally don't believe we will ever find all of who we are for the simple reason that even this energy we call the source is still looking for itself. Is still wondering, what else could it be? So, keep looking. I insist in keep asking and keep looking. And now I don't say, who am I anymore? Now I usually ask, what else am I? And you'll still find other parts of you. I'm just remembering a phrase now. This is not my phrase. I heard it from another channel that says, you ask for patience and the universe gives you a line at the bank so that you can develop this patience that you are asking for. When you ask, who am I? It works the same way. The universe will bring you situations that will make you angry, that would make you obsessive, that would make you sad, that would make you really happy, um, that would make you petty, small, so that you can see that you are that as well. So don't be surprised if after you start asking, who am I? You find yourself in situations 
or in emotions, expressing emotions that you normally would not want to express because you would like to be all love and light. Love and light is nice, but it's simply not all of who we are. And one of our biggest problems here on Earth is we don't accept the other parts of us, the parts that are not love and light. And because we don't accept those parts, it's not so easy for us to control our reality. Control meaning to run our lives the way we would like them run. Because we're not accepting all of us. So when you do start asking, who am I? I wonder who I am. You might start seeing the dark parts of you. Because the light parts are nice. And you can find those easy. Because that's actually what you're looking for. As for because you're not looking for the dark parts, your soul might start showing you those parts. Who am I? Let's see what else we can say for this question of who am I? Of course, if we, see, if we leave Earth completely, or even the universe, we can see that everything is one. However, on an individual scale, on the game that we're playing here on Earth, who am I? Hmm. Give me a second because my brain stopped. I've had so many clients ask this question, who am I? And every time we get a different answer. Because we are all a different part. So even though, yes, we are all one, we are different parts of this one. I think I'm going to leave it at this because I have nothing else is coming. Simply keep asking yourself, uh, not in a rush and not with, tell me, God damn it, tell me now, who am I? Not like that. That's just, I don't know what that is, but it's not something the soul likes very much. I remember back in the time when I used to get angry when I wasn't getting an answer. It, it was as if I was left in a room all by myself. There was no energy around me. So don't demand the answer. Simply, who am I? And let it go. And you'll get the feeling of who you are.